charging my iPod right now. Oh my god, thank god. I like randomly was like, oh wait, I want to do my makeup on the car ride. So I'm like, okay, let me go grab my makeup bag from the back of the car. So I get out and I go to the back of the car and I'm like, where's my makeup bag? And I'm like, it's in the other suitcase. I forgot that I brought another suitcase, y'all. There it is. Secure the bag. <laughs> All right, time is currently 7.32 a.m. First stop is a temple because we gotta start the day off right, you know what I mean, with the good vibes. Today is a busy, impact day. We have so many things to do because we're only here for one day, so I'm gonna try to fit it all in. Say hello. Hi. <laughs> she used to take me to temples all the time as a kid, but I never understood it, so I was like, why are we sitting on our knees for so long? But now, I feel like I can appreciate it a lot more since I'm older. Shoes off, shoes off. All right, so we're at this temple. It's called Fuk Hai, and as you guys can see, people come here just during the day to go and pray and give their offerings, and they sell fruit, candles, all that stuff here. For example, it's believed that if you offer water, Buddha will bless that water and if you drink it, you'll become healed. It's like a medicine, you know? So Vinh Bo Vietnam is they're known for their street food and just like everything is just on the street, you know what I mean? Like people's shops are on the bottom and then they live on the top. Like that's what is pretty typical. It was just so cool seeing somebody pull up, pick out a fish, and then just pay the money and leave. Like it was fresh fish. Fresh pay pay Like it was fresh 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 fish in the water, bro. We're gonna cross the road for the first time. If you guys don't know, Vietnam, you just walk. No one's stopping for you, you just walk. <laughs> I'm the one out here telling her to walk, bro. She's out here like stopping in the middle of the street right now. <laughs> a car stop, bro. I thought my grandma would know how to do it. This girl, walking like a turtle, a tortoise. The thing about Vietnam, like I was saying, is that there's literally just people selling shit everywhere. Like literally everywhere you go. That's how people make most of their money, is by selling things to the locals. People wake up every single morning and buy their food. Like it's not like America where, you know, we stock up on food in the fridge. Here, it's like you make your money, you go and buy your food on the street, you make it, and then you do that again every single day. But they sell things from like cigarettes, clothing, books, fruits, food, everything like that. Look at Oh, she got me this little hat. Does it even fit? Where's my hat fat, my head fat? Chakwa! Oh my god, I think she thinks I'm skinty or something. You guys don't know, I had the fat ass head when I was a baby. Like, literally fat. I don't know why it didn't transfer everywhere else. Oh wow, okay, no day landing. Oh wow! We twitted him! <laughs> so our driver, Gut, just took us to his favorite pho spot, or like a really good one. So we're about to go in and eat lunch. Our first Vietnamese meal. My grandma's out here telling me to use the lime to clean the products. I, I just don't think that that works. But the thing about Vietnam is they always have so many greens inside. Fun fact, Vietnam has the skinniest population in the whole entire world. It's because all the food is made so fresh and like always includes vegetables and all that stuff. Oh, wow, the noodles are different. It tastes so fresh. Like, I don't know how to explain it. It's like hot, it came out fast. Like that was literally a minute and boom, the food's out. My grandma's telling me to tell you guys that in Vietnam, everyone talks so loud. And it's true because I remember family gatherings and stuff like that, like back in Canada growing up, if we were at a restaurant or something, everyone would be laughing so loud and screaming. And I'd be scared like people would be looking and judging and stuff because I was a kid, you know what I mean? And I'd be like, shh, shh, shh. Because everyone was just like so loud. It's currently 31 degrees Celsius outside right now and I'm eating hot pho. It's just how it be sometimes. Girl, I'm literally dripping sweat and I have been since the minute I landed. I caught stunned it. To the market, we go. Bye. Bye. Success. Okay, we're at the market now. This is where you bargain. This is where you get your souvenirs. I remember coming here when I was a kid and visiting Vietnam when I was like 12 years old and shopping and finding all this coolest little things. There's like a bunch of these around Vietnam and at night they also do them as well. I think this one's open 24 hours, but insert picture of me when I was a kid. And look at 
I remember eating this when I was younger. I don't know what it tastes like, but it, it's definitely not up my alley, but Slay, she gonna buy it anyways. I remember when I was a kid, I was wearing Adidas. My mom was wearing Louis Vuitton. That it was fake from here. Oh my gosh, I just spotted. Look at that. No, literally, you guys hear me talk about miniature things all the time. It all came from this. Frozen. And then these are like the coolest things ever. Do you guys see how it's just like food? What miniature? Do I need one of these? Absolutely not. But like, do I want to collect them? Yes. Are they going to collect dust? Yes. Look at these. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, guys. I like want to buy coasters. So cute for the house, you know what I mean? You know what? I've realized that buying stupid shit like a magnet, it's cool and all, but then you end up never actually looking at it or using it. But a coaster and like home decor, that's some stuff that's like real cool. Now listen, if you if you buy magnets, I'm, I'm not screaming at you. I think that's cool that you collect something, but for me, that shit would collect dust. That's all it would collect. Hi, guy number one. Yeah. <laughs> I've been looking at coasters this whole time, but everyone was just saying 50,000. But I'm like, Girl, I know it ain't no 50,000. We ended up settling at 60,000 for two of them. No, because why are these little cups so absorbable? These little bowls, absorbable. Mini tea sets, absorbable. <laughs> Oh my gosh, no, because like this, I don't know what it is, but the presentation here in Vietnam, the way that like when you order something on a menu, they have like fruit pictures, or whenever you buy something in person, they have like a picture of inside the fruit so you can really see it. Like I love looking at things like this, it's so beautiful. Yeah. I literally look away for two seconds and she buys something. Crazy oh, how the tables have turned. <laughs> of the day we have some orange juice that the guy just chefed up right in front of me look at this it's looking very orange it's giving fanta oh my gosh this is so good you see how flimsy this cup is i don't know why but like this just hit different the way you could just squish it you can feel the coldness whenever you can feel the coldness of a cup it just always and look at the little pikachu that they put on the bag here not me being a beauty girl here we have lum jum basically you open it up like this and it looks like this and then there's a seed on the inside. I would say it's similar to lychee, but not really. Like, it doesn't taste like lychee. Like, I feel like lychee is very sweet, but this one's like a good balance. It's like not too sweet, you know what I mean? What a good market day. My grandma just took me to like her hometown where she grew up, and she takes me just randomly on this boat. And now we're just riding across, vibing. We're like not in like the main city anymore. Like, we're in a, it's called Long An. Long An. I don't know how to say it, but look at this. Look at where we're going to. Right over there. But this is something I do remember, so it's like such a weird Alright, time is currently 6 
6.33 a.m. I'm currently eating bun sale. It's kind of like a pancake or like a crepe, but it's made out of like rice. It looks like egg, but it's not. But there's shrimp, meat, and then you have some like fish sauce here, which is mukmam. And then we have some coffee, but the girl that made this just went and bought some lettuce and stuff like that at the market. But basically, there's literally no tourists here. I swear I'm the only one right now because we're like in a smaller town and stuff like that. But every single morning, like I was saying earlier, you know, people come here, they buy all the stuff that they need to serve people on the streets. It's like a community that goes around. So you wrap it and then you dip it. Let's try the coffee. Wow, truly one of the best coffees I've ever had. Truly. I love that they eat like greens and mint with everything. Like it tastes so good. Cheers. Not my grandma out here saying she has at least like 59 grandchildren. Oh my God. So that thing that you just saw me eat there was $1 US. Literally insane. No, but tell me why this lighting smacks. Another day, another bowl of pho. We're about to head to the airport soon to go to Nanjing, which is a different city. But before that, we gotta stop for another bowl. Mm. It's cool seeing every place have like different types of noodles because I feel like I'm used to just one type, but here there's just so many. Can I go home black? nighttime in Nachang. They dragged me out of bed. I'm currently with my auntie and uncle. When I was 12 years old, the last time I was here, I went to Nachang and they took me to this exact beach here. <laughs> but it's so crazy coming back here because it's like literally driving in. I was like, oh my god, this is like the Vietnam that I remember. Say hi, go back. Hi. Say hi, Umba. Hi. Never skip a leg day? Oh wow. Oh. Papa. <laughs> wow. <laughs> bye bye. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna be doing a gym workout video for you guys. This is how to get the biggest biceps ever. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. Why do you oh, so Vietnamese? That's it for the vlog. Comment, like, and subscribe. <laughs> So if you guys really think about it, in Asian culture, it's typically family style, which means that instead of everyone getting their own dish, it's just a bunch of big dishes in the middle of the table and everyone has kind of like a bowl of rice. And there's typically like a couple different types of like vegetables, lettuce, and then like um, some sort of like meat or like protein such as like fish. Mm, Finger looking good. First moped of Vietnam. This is the life. Woo! So fun! <laughs> Alright, time is currently 7.21 a.m. First meal of the day is bumbo way. I feel like this isn't as popular. I feel like pho is like a more popular one, but it's definitely like a, like a lot more, I would say, heavier than pho, but it's really good. Mm. Bro, I look like full tour as well right now. The camera shop is really adding, like you know what I mean? Like it's like the accessory that you need. And especially like a hat like this. Woo! I don't know if I was telling you guys this or not, but when you guys sit at a place in Vietnam, like a restaurant, a street food place, all of the seats are tiny, like built for like six-year-old tiny. Like it's like they went to like a preschool, school, shopping center and they bought the chairs there. Okay, we're at this random place right now, and it's a water sports center, and bro, like, the thing about me is, like, I'm an impulsive person, but, like, I'm just throwing this stuff and told to make a decision. So they were like, oh, do you want to go scuba diving? Like, do you want to go jet skiing? And I'm like, bro, I thought you had to, like, do, like, the scuba diving license thing to go scuba diving. Like, am I about to die right now? Like, I just learned how to swim, like, literally, like, what, a month ago, and now I'm going to be out here going down in deep end. But I mean, I guess we're doing it. Like, I literally am nervous, but I'm like, okay, for the content, right? Like, it's going to be good content. Y'all about to subscribe, right? Because, bro, I could drown it any instant, but I'm doing it for the content. Anyways, excited. Yeah, I'm literally talking to 
talking to you underwater right now. no idea what to expect coming here because like I just woke up this morning they were like all right driver's gonna come pick you up and I was like mm -hmm, okay but genuinely that scuba diving experience or whatever was seriously I think one top five prettiest things I've ever seen in my entire life and the jet skiing y'all saw the shots y'all saw the shots I did not know that it was like that I don't know like I just I didn't do a lot of research before coming here I just came here because I love Vietnam I love the people I love the food y'all need to come here so basically something in Vietnam is they have fishing villages which is like floating little villages and it's where they obviously catch fish but you can come here pick your fish and then they'll cook it and then you just weigh it by the kilogram and that's what they charge you this is what they look like as you can see they're literally just floating in the water it's just so cool because like what you're seeing right now is how these locals make a living is by catching these fish by living out on these like floating markets and stuff like that we're really just like on this raft right now oh my gosh i, I didn't know how we were gonna get over but i was not expecting them to just Pull us over. Woohoo, we did it! Uh, Are you hungry now? Uh, yeah, just see toy. Okay. If you wanted to eat the fish and stuff like that, you pick out the fish and then they brought it over here with us so that they can give it to these people and then they'll prepare for you. Come on, you. Come on. Jara. This is basically iced tea. Ja means tea and da means ice. Mm. Come on. So refreshing, so good. This is what the spread is looking like. We have some shrimp. Squid. All right, the fish. Mm, this is really good. Wow. Oh my gosh. So we just pulled up to this place. I had no idea. We were coming here, but me and my mom came here when I was younger, like 12 years old, and we took these iconic pictures. Insert on screen right now. These are the pictures that I used to show people that I was skinny as a stick, bro. And we were out here posing. My mom was the blueprint. Wow. And you guys can see the cable cars over here. It was my first picture uh, on my Instagram. Truly, it is so crazy being back here because I'm like, wait. It's just crazy because I don't really have like a lot of childhood memories. Like I really don't. So most of it comes from pictures, but I do have a lot of pictures from this one trip so it's just like whoa i don't know i mean obviously like memories duh but you know this feeling doesn't happen a lot you know like those baths right there this picture was taken oh my god <laughs> welcome back to charlie and the chocolate factory i'm swimming i'm swimming ah. Nobody told me anything. Nobody told me what time to be back. There's like a little bit of a language barrier. Not really, because I understand Vietnamese, but maybe I just wasn't listening. Because imagine if the boat left without me. got to Da Nang, which is another part of Vietnam. I'm officially traveling alone now. Not gonna lie, I've been laying in my bed two hours because I'm low-key scared to go outside because listen, everyone's paranoid for me. And I wasn't paranoid, but now that everyone's paranoid for me, I think about it a little bit, but you know what? It's fine. Also, I have yet to ever ride a motorbike in Vietnam and everyone says it's so scary, so dangerous. You know what? We're just gonna do it. I was definitely debating it, but no, we gotta go explore. Ready to go. and then I just see this stopped on the side of the road. I say this because I don't know what it is, but oh my god. 
was my first time driving in a minute, bro. Like, driving here was super easy. But then when I was parking, I looped around twice because I didn't know how to park, right? So I was like, I don't know if you're paying for parking here. Like, I don't know what the vibe is. And I'm like, okay, so how the f*** are people parking here? Well, there's this fat-ass curb. It's not so fat, but I'm like, how the f*** do I get up there? So I try to get up there, right? And, like, literally my shit is going out of control. And I'm about to crash. But luckily, I get a hold of it. And we're good now. But we need to eat. I feel like the travel vlogs are back officially now that I'm drinking this. All right, here we have bun mi. I'm sure you guys have heard about it before, but the catch is this is known to be one of the best in Hoi An and just in Vietnam, period. Anthony Bourdain came here on a show and now it's ever since then it's been so, so, so popular. But I'm super excited to try This is actually one of the food places that I really want to go to. Mm -hmm. It's so good. The bread is so crispy. The cilantro. Oof. All right, something about Vietnam and just Asia in general, but specifically Vietnam that I remember is going to massages every single night just because they're so affordable here, but I'm so excited. driving around for like two minutes. I found this place that sold pho. We just stopped on the side of the street here, but. Oh my gosh, look at this little thing. Hello. So I just ordered some pho, but the thing about being in Vietnam is like usually whenever I travel anywhere else, I don't know the language. Like, I don't know, it's it's fine. Cause you know, I'm a tourist, but here it's like, oh, I'm Vietnamese. Like I, I kind of know the language, right? So it's like, I can speak it, but just not the best. It's an in-between of like, oh, she's like not a tourist, but she is a tourist, but also she speaks Vietnamese, but not that well. So it's just straight up disappointment. All right, we have one bowl of pho. This is pho ba and pho ga. This shit looks so good. So good. Such a good way to start the morning. It's currently 8 11. We have a lot to do today. Currently, we're at Sun World, Banana Hills. I don't know, y'all. I saw this picture of this bridge and I was like, ooh, let me go here. So I just drove about an hour on my motorbike. I got some headphones though to be able to like listen to the Google Maps, but I literally have no idea what to expect. Oh my gosh, this is literally just like a koi fish pond and we're two seconds in. Literally two seconds in. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh my god, this is about to be the craziest shit ever, y'all. Holy f, f, holy f, holy f, holy sh we're fucking going. Oh my god, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. This is a beautiful. The river underneath, bro, this is crazy. <laughs> Oh my god, oh my god, I see the bridge. I literally see the bridge. So, this is what we're looking at. A cloud. It's still cool though. Oh my god, oh my god, we're about to go. We're about to go so fast. This is so fast, this is so fast. Ah! Ah! <laughs> <sighs> 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 Crazy. random little beach but we're gonna go through this cave right now Ooh, look at this i feel like we're playing limbo right now <laughs> bro the knees are weak the knees are weak in the jungle apparently there used to be a thousand monkeys here but now there's only 40 because during COVID 19 there was a lot of hunting because they believed that eating monkey brains was gonna make you live longer <laughs> 